Historically, individuals bringing allegations of a sexual nature could be subject to invasive questioning designed to embarrass and degrade in the hopes that the alleged victims would drop their allegations. Congress adopted and expanded Evidentiary Rule 412, known as the Rape Shield Rule, to exclude evidence of a victim's sexual behavior and predisposition in criminal and civil cases. In Judd v. Rodman, we'll explore whether this rule protected information about a victim's sexual behavior and predisposition when that victim's claims involved contracting a sexually transmitted disease. After having sexual relations with Dennis Rodman, Lisa Judd discovered she had genital herpes. Judd subsequently sued Rodman for tortious transmission of a sexual disease, battery, fraud, and intentional infliction of emotional distress in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Georgia. During discovery, Rodman sought information concerning Judd's prior sexual history, employment as a nude dancer, and breast augmentation surgery. Judd filed a motion in limine to exclude evidence of her sexual history and nude dancing under Rule 412 and evidence of her breast augmentation under Rule 402. Rodman filed a conditional motion arguing that Rule 412 was inapplicable. The trial judge denied Judd's motion in limine, instead instructing her to object at trial. The judge also noted that he felt Rule 412 didn't apply. At trial, Judd's objection to evidence concerning her new dancing employment was overruled, so Judd strategically testified on direct examination concerning this evidence as well as her sexual history. Judd's objection to Rodman's questioning on her breast augmentation based on relevancy was also overruled. The jury returned a verdict for Rodman, and the court entered judgment in his favor. Judd appealed to the 11th Circuit.